This is Marcy Pilkington of GoodEreader.com, live at the Self-Publishing Book Expo at the Sheraton, New York, in New York City this weekend. With us this morning is Dan Pointer, the keynote speaker, uh, also of Pair of Publishing, who's going to give some few words and feedback on some of the things that are affecting digital publishing right now. First of all, Mr. Pointer, good morning. Uh, you've also already described in terms what exactly is a book futurist? Well, I've been studying this industry since I got into it in 1969. And, um, of course, there wasn't any help back then, but uh, I spend all my time online, all my time studying the industry, and uh, I make a lot of predictions, and my predictions have never been wrong. Okay, well, right off the bat, then what's one of those well, predictions? <laughs> I think it took uh, 16 or 18 years for uh, e-books to catch on. Mm -hmm. I've been speaking about them since the early 90s, and it took, I think, 24 years for self-publishing to get recognized for what it is. Mm -hmm. So I've never been wrong, but sometimes I'm, what, a little further ahead. A little late, that's all. <laughs> but, but you got it. Okay, we had spoken before we started here, we had talked about the, the distinction between self-publishing and indie publishing and where Vanity Press and digital publishing fit into there. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Well, that's something I certainly have an opinion on. I think this whole thing of calling ourselves indie publishers, or even self-publishers for that matter, is self ghettoizing. And I just remember um, my first couple of book fairs, the BEA book, well, it was the ABA book fair back then, and they had a small press section. And I was in that small press section the first year, and then I realized I was ghettoizing myself. I was over there in that section where, oh, you're small press, well, you're not ready to be a publisher. But, and so after that, I got onto the main floor. I have a real issue with this indie publisher thing. And the problem is, indie in the publishing industry means loser. And this is the, what, the chain stores versus the independent bookstores. And the independent bookstores have been going out of business at the rate of three per week for the last 15 years. And now it's accelerating. And there are, uh, what, fewer than a thousand indie bookstores left. And uh, yes, we all like bookstores, and uh, they're a great place to go. But I always ask people, when was the last time you were in a bookstore? When was the last time you bought something in a bookstore? Or did you go into that bookstore, look at a book, take out your iPhone, go click, and oh, it's cheaper at Amazon, one click, and you walk out, and you didn't buy anything there. So the, uh, the indie bookstore was uh, showcasing the book, but you weren't uh, buying the book there. You weren't really supporting them. So, yeah, I love the bookstores, but um, that's not where the business is today, and they're going out of business very quickly. So indie means loser in the publishing industry. I was with the Publishers Marketing Association from the beginning, and uh, a few years ago they changed the name to the Independent Book Publishers Association, mm -hmm. which I was violently opposed to. Uh, because of the connotation of independent. It's also a great mouthful and it's hard for me to remember it. Um, so um, we should be proud of what we're doing. We should be proud of the fact that we are authors and we are publishers. And we are publishers. We're not necessarily self-publishers. So we could describe ourselves that way because sure, we're investing ourselves. But how did the publishing company start off? one person, two people, and they um, uh, built their publishing companies from there. And we have a lot of publishing companies that have uh, grown in just the last few years. So as a subset, we might say we're self-publishers, but we're really authors and we're publishers and we shouldn't uh, self-ghettoize. Right. We had talked just a moment ago about where the tablets were going to take e-reading. So um, iPad and possibly Kindle Fire and the Nook Color, you had mentioned those. And in terms of your predictions, where do you see that taking authors and readers? Well, there's a revolution going on. And in all of this, there are three elements. There's hardware, there's software, and there's content. We've had hardware and software for years. What held us back was content. And it was Amazon that came out with the content. Uh, they used to show you an e-reader with um, the Red Badge of Courage or Last of the Mohicans or, you know, remember those books you didn't want to read in high school? You still don't want to read them. And you would look at them and say, okay, but you weren't going to buy it or read it. And Amazon came out with regular books and now they had content and that was the start of the, the whole e-reader revolution. Now, uh, 
with the large color formats, the iPad, the Kindle Fire, now we're getting into uh, greater possibilities. We are seeing the graphic novels, the comic books moving to that very quickly. Children's books will be next. Uh, the textbooks, the multicolored textbooks are going that way. And uh, e-readers have been growing for years now, but uh, with this new uh, hardware technology, we're going to see the revolution accelerate. And lastly, let's talk about your global ebook awards that you'll be discussing. It says honoring the future of reading. So talk about that for just a moment. Well, it's just writing that revolution and giving more publicity to uh, books and to authors that deserve it, that need it. And so this focus is just on ebooks. Now, every book should be a P book as well. And you need the printed book for promotion. And as long as you've done the work and have the ebook in several different formats, there's no reason why you shouldn't print it too and get it up to the online websites and so on. So we recognize that the ebooks and the the, the P books are together, but we're emphasizing the e-books and the awards are for the e-books. We had the first one this year. The uh, award ceremony was out in Santa Barbara on the 20th of August. It was very, very nice. Uh, if you drove up there, we had the requisite Rolls Royce and the Bentley. We had the red carpet and the stanchions with the red ropes, and everybody was in formal dress. We had a band. I mean, it was pretty nice. <laughs> and of course, a gorgeous day in August in Santa Barbara. Uh, but we gave a lot of, got a lot of publicity uh, for the individuals who entered the contest. Okay. And we'll do it again next year. Oh, wonderful. We look forward to seeing the results of that too and where the ebook awards and this promotion takes off from there. Mr. Porner, I thank you for your time and we look forward to hearing the rest of your keynote at the Self Published Book Expo here in New York. For Goody Reader, this is Mercy Pilkington.